What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over four different brokerages. Weeble, Robinhood, Merrill Edge, and Charles Schwab. So if you always wondered which one's the best one, maybe you should stay tuned. Let's get to it. Welcome. Welcome to Peace of the Power with Ty. I'm Ty and I appreciate you guys coming to check me out on my channel. If you like any of the content, please hit that like button, look something like this, and subscribe and share the channel. Like I said, I just want to make sure that everybody knows these different avenues out here to get a piece of the pie. All right, so this video is all about brokerages. Everybody gets into the stock market and they wonder which brokerage is the right brokerage. All right, so I'm just gonna be running through the four that I deal with personally, and we're gonna go through them. We're gonna see the pros and cons of each one of them. Then we're gonna see which one is actually the best fit for you. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the computer. Now that we're on the computer, I'm gonna be going over all four brokerages, and we will be covering their web page, a little bit about their mobile app, and the tools and resources each have to offer. Okay, so we're gonna start with the youngest of the four, Weeble. Weeble has been on the scene since 2017, makes them four years old, and since they are so young, they still give out free stock via links and referring other members to join because they have to draw people to their product, being that they aren't the seniors in the game. And if you watch this video and wanna sign up with Weeble, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Check that out. All right, so let's go see what Weeble has to offer. The type of trading, of course, they have stocks. You can trade regular stocks on Weeble. Options, they have options, ETFs, of course, and cryptos. All four of these brokers don't offer crypto. Weeble does. The type of accounts Weeble offers, IRA, investment retirement account, and, and and individual brokerage accounts. So they have a few different accounts. And they do offer trading during extended hours. All right. Everybody doesn't offer trading during extended hours either. And they're just going down and showing you a few things that they have. Open a Weeble account now. Again, as I say, I have a Weeble account. So if I hit get started. It's gonna take you to your account. I only have the free stock that they gave me. I don't use Weeble as much as my hub or a big holdings in Weeble, but I do have an account with Weeble. So that's the home. Let's go see what the market has. When you click on the market tab, you see a nice rundown of what's going on in the extended hours, top gainers, top losers, most active, pretty good. IPO offerings. So when the new companies are IPOing, they are Weeble is on top of it. It tells you what field, what is coming, and it tells you what is coming. So file IPOs that's gonna come in the future. Pretty good, pretty good. A uh, little breakdown, dividends per share, hot industries. It tell you what's winning right now who's winning hard they tell you who's winning right now hot ETFs which ETFs which ETFs did the best and what's going on with crypto they even have a little breakdown about Forex you can't trade Forex on Weeble but they do have a breakdown about what's going on with Forex too all right, so that's just the market page. But then when you go to this trade page, that's when the, the real action starts. Okay, now that we hit that trade button, the first tab is a watch list. So you can put the stocks that you wanna watch up here. This is typical, everybody has that. Have yourself a little watch list. 
All right, well then you hit stocks and say I hit one of the stocks that was in my watch list. You have a tab for the news, all the news. It came out about that stock, the financials. You can see the earnings, nice little breakdown, the net income, revenue, balance. You can see the net debt, net asset value. You can see the cash flow, finance ratio. You can see a whole lot of things on this tab where they have an in-depth breakdown of the stock. Then you can go to the analysis. You can see what we will is saying about it. You can see if it's in a strong buy, a buy, a hold, sell. Pretty good stuff right there. So you can see what they're saying. They even have a little breakdown about the support and resistance, where they see it's gonna hit and bounce back and forth. They have short interest, institutional holdings. So you can see how much the institutions have invested in a stock on Weeble. Right now you see Apple is 60% owned by institutions. That's pretty good information. Order flow, ETF weighting. So you can see how much ETFs are banking on a stock. That's all great information all great information then you have press release corporate actions which dividends options you can see what's going on in the options world on it brief little breakdown of the stock that's that's all great information great information by Weeble I was shocked to find out that Weeble had that much research on each stock it was pretty good when we click on this markets tab, you see a little quick breakdown of the market. What's going on out here in the field? Nice, nice little breakdown. You have a screener, so you can even let Weeble go through and tell you their opinion on a stock. But what's really great about Weeble that I didn't know they had was this right here. For all my Forex traders, you guys probably already know what this is. But on Weeble, they have a nice chart analysis and you can apply this to any stock and you can apply MACDs to it, alligators to it, a whole slew of indicators and drawing. You can even draw trend lines. So you can draw Fibonacci's up there. You can draw Bollinger Bands up there. They have a whole lot of chart analysis. I was not aware that Weeble had this much chart analysis until I really dove into this video. I had Weeble, but I didn't know they were this in depth. I do think Weeble is the best when it comes to just chart analysis. And I say that because not only does Weeble have the chart analysis on the web browser, they also have it on their mobile app. A lot of features that they have on the web browser it's actually on their mobile app too. And I'm gonna show you guys a quick look at their mobile app. Okay, here is Weeble's mobile app. And what I wanna show you guys is pretty cool on this too. Same thing we were just looking at, my watch list, market. Same, about the same thing that's on their web browser. Except for it doesn't have the screener. But when you go to community, They have a whole community out here where you can comment on the stocks that you are invested into. For example, let's go to my watch list real quick. Go to Apple, trade. Again, you guys see the MACD, the alligator, because they have the same thing on their mobile app as they do on their web page, which is pretty cool and perfect for a day trader. Perfect if you're a day trader and you want to day trade stocks, Weeble has you covered. Nice, nice, look at all this analysis that's right at the palm of your hand. But what I really want to show you guys is the tabs right here, where it says quotes, news, 
comments. You can see if it's bullish or bearish. And this is at the palm of your hands. You have this in your hands. And then you can post what you think about the stock. People can post about the stock. Talk about a community of investors. Weeble has that. I haven't seen this anywhere else so far where you actually have a community and you can post on the stock that you buy. So Weeble is really revolutionary when it comes to this. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You have a whole social media with your app. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then of course it got the analysis. Same thing. Same thing that was on the web browser. Same thing. News release. Financials. So Weeble definitely has a lot packed in to their website, but it's pretty cool that the tools that they have on the website are bundled into the mobile app too. That's pretty cool. So Weeble is one to watch out for. Those were some cool things that we saw when we hit this trade button on Weeble and the mobile app too. Like I said, that's pretty cool about the mobile app. But then when we go to pricing, of course, Weeble is commission free and Weeble and Robinhood, they both are commission free and they've been commission free ever since they were established. That's how they were competing with the bigger name companies that put pressure on the bigger name company. And now almost everyone is commission free thanks to the upstarts like Weeble and Robinhood. And the last thing I wanna show you guys on Weeble's page is this download button. What happens when you go to this download button is Weeble has a desktop trader. Okay, so if you guys are familiar with something like a MetaTrader 4 app, Weeble has its own app, similar, very similar, where it's more in depth and you can analyze things a little bit better with the desktop version. That's for the hardcore trader, you know, the type that have two screens behind them and one on the wall. Those traders would love this about Weeble. Like I said, the desktop version. Okay, so I just went through a lot of pros, a whole lot of pros with Weeble. You know, they offer cryptos, commission free, they have chart tools. Some of the cons that come with Weeble is that they don't have any advisors. A lot of times, uh, a brokerage will have an advisor you can sign up with and they trade your stock for you. They don't offer mutual funds and bonds for trading. And the last thing is, they are a bit technical for newer traders that just want to keep it simple. The technical stuff is good to have, but sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming until you get past that learning curve. Yeah, that's a rundown on Weeble. Okay, now we're on to Robinhood. Robinhood hit the scene in 2013, which makes them seven years old. And everybody knows about Robinhood. Robinhood put a whole bunch of the newer traders millennials and just people that never heard of investing into the stock market in the game let's check them out and see how they stack up to the rest of them this is robin hood's website all right you guys know i've shown you guys that i do have a decent amount in robin hood it shows you your growth right on the front page all your holdings right on the front page your buying power then you slide down they have most popular daily movers, upcoming earnings, cryptos. Robinhood does offer cryptos just like Weeble. And then it has news, top movers, and a bunch of more news. That's basically Robinhood's main page. Okay, then of course, Robinhood does give out free stock because they are new to via link. And if you guys want to join Robinhood, I got a link in the description. But Robinhood still gives out free stock because they still are new too. Seven years in the game, it's still young. Uh, portfolio, that is my portfolio. Cash. That's the transfer money in. So Robinhood is a little lackluster, lackluster. 
So that's basically all Robin Hood really has on the web page. So let's click on one of my holdings, Apple. One of the perks that Robin Hood has is you can buy fractional shares. That's why it says invest in dollars. That's a good perk that Robinhood has. Webull doesn't have that feature. And okay, so if we wanted to look at this chart in depth, you can hit expand. And Robinhood does have on their webpage a tool that you can add the MACD, add some exponential moving averages, but it's a lot less offered than what was on Webull. And this doesn't transfer over to Robinhood's mobile app. So we keep scrolling down and see your market value. A little brief rundown on Apple, how many employees they have and things like that. And then it goes straight to news. And then you have a analyst rating of buy, hold, or sell, and then the earnings. This is fairly simple. Anyone can get on Robinhood and understand the earnings per share and the rating, analyst rating. But other than that, that's it. That's it. That's all Robinhood has. The chart of the stock, the analyst rating, a little brief rundown about the stock with the dividend yields, price ratio earnings some news and that's it you see how Weeble was a lot more in-depth the simplicity of Robinhood can draw in traders and give them basic understanding of the market and what's going on so that's why some traders are fine with Robinhood so I don't have to go on to Robinhood's mobile because it's basically the same thing that's on their web Besides the fact that the web page does have a few indicators. So we just went over some of the pros of Robinhood. It does offer crypto trading. It does offer fractional shares. And it is free. I didn't mention that, but it is free. Commissions free. And it's simple. And it's simple. Um, that's a big perk to Robinhood. It's simple. If you get Robinhood, you don't have all the extra technical stuff which could be a pro at first because that stuff can confuse traders right off the bat but after you do learn the market a little bit you might want to look at some of those too that Robinhood doesn't offer me personally you guys can see I use Robinhood but I don't do my research on Robinhood cons of Robinhood of course are less in-depth research no stock advisors, no bonds and mutual funds. They don't offer those on the sites. If you do want to invest into those on Robinhood, you have to buy an ETF of bonds or an ETF of mutual funds. One last con that I want to point out about Robinhood is that you can't name a beneficiary to your account. You have to go through the executive of the estate in the event of your death. So that was just a quick rundown about Robinhood. Okay guys, now we're on to Merrill Edge. Merrill Edge has been in the game since 2010, which makes them 11 years old, and they are a partner of Bank of America. So I'm skipping this accounts tab because on that page, you will see your trading account linked with your banking account, um, your loans, if you got home loan, car loan, you're gonna see all of that on that accounts page, which is pretty cool because they, if you bank with Bank of America, you can see all of your assets and all of your liabilities all in the same account. That's one of the pros right there. Merrill Edge is part of a big name bank. All right, I hit the trade and you can trade stocks, ETFs, options, mutual funds, fixed income. You can trade margins, apply for margins, you can trade everything on Merrill Edge, except for Forex. They don't have Forex. But um, you can trade all the bonds. If you wanted to find bonds or mutual funds, Merrill Edge has it. 
Weevil and Robin Hood didn't have those two things. Now, when we go to this research tab, I'm not gonna go over everything because Merrill Edge has a lot of things. So when we go over this tab, you see US market, global market, market news, investing ideas, stock. This investing ideas and screeners, of course they have they screen stocks for you, ETFs for you, and give you their opinion. So if you ever wanna know if a stock is hot or not, or you get an idea from someone, make sure you check it with a brokerage. That's one of the easiest places to do your research is at. These brokerage are quote unquote professional traders. See what a professional trader is saying about the, the hot stock that everyone is talking about. Make sure you always do your research. I just want to make sure everybody always does their research. That's one of the biggest part of the stock. But um, you go to this research, if you go to investing ideas, this investing ideas is a killer tab. I've shown this in previous videos, but Merrill Edge gives you ideas about what's hot, what got the highest dividend yield, high quality dividend yield, Warren Buffett stocks, Merrill Edge selects the stocks that they prefer, and Merrill Edge is an institution, so if they prefer it, more than likely they backing it. So it's a little one-sided when it comes to their picks, but they're an institution and they're backing it. So they probably have a little bit more insight than the average Joe just saying this stock is hot, you know, safety, cybersecurity. If you click on any of these tabs, they're going to tell you which stocks to go for, which stock, big data. They give you a whole bunch of different ideas. And if I clicked on any one of these, they would tell me what's the hottest stock in that chemical safety, environmental leaders. And they'll give you a whole rundown on which stock. So Merrill Edge really set the tone for people looking for stocks. Yeah, they do offer that advisor, but in my eyes, with them giving you this much to research with, I'm pretty sure you can come up with a few stocks that you think are great picks using these research tools. Another thing that I wanna click on in the research tab is investing tools and calculators they have popular tools and like i said i'm not going to go through all of this because it's really in depth what they do but they have retirement evaluators where it asks you what age you want to retire at how much do you plan on having it can break that stuff down for you asset allocator so it'll help you fill out Okay, you wanted this much allocated to tech. You wanted this much allocated to healthcare. They help you break that stuff down. So that's killer research. But all of this is on the web page. Their mobile app is pretty much just buy and show you what you got in your holdings. And it also ties to your Bank of America app if you have that. It's nothing to be crazy about. I'm not going to the app because I bank with Bank of America and it's too much information up there. I'm not crazy. <laughs> so that was Merrill Edge. Merrill Edge has a lot of pros, meaning that it is tied to a bank. You can link your bank account to it, so your transactions of money is easier. And when you're evaluating your net worth, it's pretty easy. If you got your stocks, your loans, everything with Merrill Edge and Bank of America. Merrill Edge is also a cut above the rest when it comes to research and giving ideas to newer traders too because they give you ideas in their selects. Merrill Edge also has a desktop app, just like I said, Weeble did, which is for mainly the hardcore trader. Some of the cons associated with Merrill Edge is that they don't offer crypto trading. Their mobile app is pretty much basic compared to Weeble and not as sleek as Robinhood. So they are catching up to somebody like Weevil as it pertains to how much they have invested into a trading app. One of the last cons that I want to point out about Merrill Edge that I experienced personally, they are very selective. Certain stocks that are traded like on Robinhood or Weevil, Merrill Edge doesn't even let you buy those shares on their platform. 
and it was crazy. I tried to buy the Motley Fool Index, the one you guys know I talk about all the time. I tried to buy that on Merrill Edge, and for some reason, they told me I couldn't buy it on their platform. I even called them the help desk and everything, but they couldn't give me a solid answer to why I couldn't buy it on their platform. That's why I invested into the Spy G because it's very similar. But I wanted to buy into the Motley Fool, but they didn't let me. And when I pressured the guy, he said, it's a, it's a reason that they won't disclose to me. The representative told him it was a reason that he couldn't disclose with me. And if I wanted to keep pressing, I would probably get the same answer from a higher up. So I don't know what that's all about, but I just know that they are selective about which stocks you can purchase on their brokerage. I'm not too sure about why, but yeah, that was the last kind about Merrill Edge. All right, guys, now we're at the last stop, the OG of the game, Charles Schwab. Charles Schwab has been in the game since 1971, which means they've been in the game for 50 years. They don't offer a free stock, but they don't need to because they are the vets of the game. And Charles Schwab also is linked into a lot of companies. For example, I got with Charles Schwab because they have a program through my job with the 401k that I have through my job. So they are linked into big name companies because they have been established so long and they are working with companies to help people with their retirement accounts, which is pretty good. That's a field that Weevil, Robinhood, even Merrill Edge haven't been able to tap into just yet. All right, when we get on this trades tab, we see that you can buy stocks, ETFs, you can trade during the extended hours, you can trade options, you can sell and trade bonds, mutual funds, find fixed income, you can buy CDs, you can learn about IPOs, and you can have different types of market orders, of course, and they even offer screeners where you, where they give you their rating on a stock just like Merrill Edge and Weebly. All right, now let's go over to this research tab. When it comes to research, oh, and I do want to add that Charles Schwab did start something this year called Stock Slices, so you can buy fractional stock now on Charles Schwab too with the Stock Slices. When we go to this research tab, they have a lot of extensive research tools just like Merrill Edge. They even will rate your portfolio based on the equity and performance that they see. They got a lot of tools for you to make sure you do your research just like Merrill Edge. But I do think Merrill Edge has a lot more to offer as it pertains to newer investors because of that ideas tab. Charles Schwab doesn't have an ideas tab like that, but they do have a lot of tools that you can analyze your portfolio. They have picks on their stocks. They can tell you how you need to allocate once you do do this quality performance rating. But they do have a lot of things to offer, a lot of stuff to trade, a lot of different products. I do want to point out that they have a whole bunch of different types of accounts. For example, they have custodial and inherited IRAs. So I can set up a portfolio for my son if I want to, being that he isn't 18 I have control of over that account but when he does become eight he will have that account Charles Schwab has those types of accounts so they do have a lot because they have been in the game 50 years they also are a bank to compete a little bit with Merrill Edge with Charles Schwab they do have something called the Schwab stock list so when you come to this it tells you all the stocks that they give an A rating to a rating so I see a B a couple B's in here but they do give you ideas on this stock is an A in our book you should go with them so again this is a way to do your research so if you ever see a stock that you think you want to get into you have to do your research come to your brokerage and see what your brokerage is saying about that stock because if they giving it an A somebody just said it was a hot stock okay now that everything is lining up, that might be a great investment. So make sure you always do your research. And Charles Schwab has great resources 
for doing your research. One of the other things that I wanted to show you guys about Charles Schwab is how in depth they are. Okay, so on Charles Schwab, when you go to one of their, how in depth they are. When you go to Charles Schwab, this is Apple on Charles Schwab website. When you go to Apple, if you come down here, you know, a lot of times they give you the yield rate on the dividends. Charles Schwab has it broken down for you already or uh, how much dividends cost quarterly without you having to do that now. Charles Schwab already breaks it down. So this definitely helped me when I was starting off as a new trader and I didn't know how to calculate the dividend yield. I come to Charles Schwab because they already have it broken down for me and that was very useful when calculating my dividends. So that's pretty good. And they also have fundamentals. If you go to sector overview, they also have a whole lot of different fundamentals. You can see who's peers of the stock, who's Apple's peers, and how they are performing compared to the rest. Charles Schwab gives, gives Apple an A. But you also can see the competitors in this lane. Something that's also neat about Charles Schwab, just like on Weeble, it tells you the ETF holding this company, who holds this company, and how they have been performing. So Charles Schwab has a lot. Mara Edge does too, but it's just so much. They have so much as it comes to research that I could spend forever going through their website. So Charles Schwab is definitely good too for research. So we just went over Charles Schwab. There's a lot of perks that come being the vet of the game. They work with a lot of companies with their employees in 401ks. They have extensive research. They have a slew of accounts that you can open up. And they do offer advisors too. So they are pretty strong. Charles Schwab is mobile app. It's pretty much that luster you don't have anything as sleek as robin hood or weeble but you can execute orders in real time just like the others but there's nothing too impressive about it they are a company that have been trading for a long time and now they are getting mobile apps to compete with the the fresher companies that have a more sleek mobile app that are quote unquote cool that's why we love Robin Hood. That's why we love Weeble because they feel cool. Charles Schwab is the old, old fashioned trading, but they have a lot to offer. And they also have, this is Street Smart Edge, Charles Schwab's desktop app. And as you see, it's pretty intense for those professional expert traders that want to dive deep and have all the monitors. You can even have CNBC playing in the background on the TV. Like I said, so that's for those hardcore traders. One of the cons associated with Charles Schwab is that they don't have crypto trading. Other than that, they're pretty good. The last con that I got for Charles Schwab is some based off experience, but I did experience with Charles Schwab and Merrill Edge. I've been trading for seven months now, and sometimes Charles Schwab and Merrill Edge, their mobile apps don't work. And they kind of lock you out and you'll be locked out for like a, a few hours. Some, one time, I think I was locked out of Charles Schwab for like a whole day and it didn't really open up to the next day. I didn't experience that with Robin Hood. I know people have said that Robin Hood did crash and people weren't able to go into Robin Hood that during the big market crash. But that's just my experience. I did experience that Charles Schwab and Merrill Edge sometimes with their mobile app, you can't get into them. You guys let me know what you think. All right, guys. So that was a quick rundown of all four brokerages and the pros and cons of each one. Now, the question of which one is best, it all depends on what type of trader you are. If you are a day trader, maybe you would like some more like Weeble because of the indicators that it has on its mobile app and on its site. It's very easy to trade on that. Or you might be a new trader that needs more assistance and would like to look into some of the guided investing that Charles Schwab or Merrill Edge has. It all depends on what type of trader you are 
Or you might just be a simple trader that just want to invest and want something simple on the go, which is Robinhood. And you can go with Robinhood. But again, if you're going to be doing this in day trading, maybe you should look into Weeble. Before I did this video, honestly, I honestly didn't really realize how much Weeble had to offer. I did not. Weeble has a whole lot of offer when it comes to the indicators. But again, I still like Robinhood's simplicity. So at the end of the day, I say, why not have them all? Why not have them all? That's going to be extra research tools you have at your disposal. If you want to go to Charles Schwab way, or you want the indicators from Weeble, or if you want to know what's hot and what's coming up, the ideas category on Merrill would definitely help you. So it's all about what type of trader you are, but there's nothing against having all four. At the end of the day, they're extra tools. I have all four. I think it'd be more beneficial to just have them all and have them all in your pocket for research tool. Just like having multiple advisors telling you this stock is hot, that stock is hot, this stock is hot. If you compare what the brokers say, you kind of got a good idea if the stock is good or not. If you go through all four brokers and see what they say about the stock, a brokerage is an institutional player in the game of stocks. So it's something to be mindful of. So that's it. That's the rundown on this video. So if you like the content, please hit that like button so other investors can find my video too. Please subscribe to the channel and come back and see me because I got plenty more to talk about. All right. Thanks for tuning in.